What's up, everybody? Calvin Bowie from FKN Deliciousness, and today we are in Saigon, Vietnam, at a restaurant called Pizza for Peace. Now, Pizza for Peace to me is one of the quintessential restaurants that isn't Vietnamese food that you must visit here in Saigon. Why? Well, number one, they've been around since 2011 at a really small, humble location. And now with 28 locations between Vietnam and Cambodia, this restaurant is truly amazing. Number two, everything's sustainable here. From the farms that they work with in Da Lot to the dairy, to their cheese factory that they make their own cheeses at. Everything here is so well thought out and so, so what? I'm trying to think of the right word here. It's so heartwarming to know that a husband and wife team started with just this humble, small little uh, restaurant serving Neapolitan pizza at a time when pizza wasn't even in existence in Vietnam. And to see what they have built 11 years later. Pizza for Peace is what we're gonna eat at today. We're gonna to do three courses. We're gonna pair that with uh, two of their locally made beers. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the interior, show you the garden, and show you what restaurants should be all about. Let's go. First course is Parma ham wrapped with organic rocket and ricotta cheese. We're gonna pair that with the Dalat Whey Stout. Now this rocket we have in front of you is grown here locally in Vietnam. They have a contract farm that grows their rocket. Everything on this plate is fully organic. The whey in the ricotta cheese is repurposed when growing this rocket. And they also use it in their beers. Four Peas has this really cool mission to have the smallest footprint uh, as a restaurant with over 28 locations uh, in Vietnam and Cambodia. Let's try this out. So this is Parma ham. They have the ricotta cheese smeared inside and then the uh, rocket. Start a bite. That's so good. And I'll tell you why it's so good. Everything tastes so fresh. From the rocket 
to the ricotta. The rocket is peppery. When you bite into it, it's crisp. You can actually hear your teeth chopping into the greens. The ricotta, it's buttery. It's a little bit salty. God, that's good. I'm just thinking about like just how everything plays so well together. This to me is what farm and table dining is. Knowing who grew your vegetables, making your own cheese, holding back and not putting too much on the plate and letting the, the ingredients really speak for themselves. Next course is the pizza course. So here at Four Peas, not only are the pizzas the Neapolitan style, and you know that that bottom there, that's beautiful pizza. But uh, you can also do a half half. So on one half, on this side over here, we have the burrata parma ham margarita with the big burrata. So as you can see here, this is burrata. Um, this is a cheese they make here in house. We're going to cut into the burrata and show you guys what cheese porn looks like. Oh my God, look at that. Look at the creaminess in the, the burrata cheese. Luckily I have the manager here, the handsome manager cutting the burrata while I hold this camera. And when you cut this burrata into pieces, every piece of pizza gets this beautiful slice, the creaminess. Oh my God. Absolutely amazing. Thank you, handsome manager. <laughs> On the other half of this pizza, we have a salmon miso cream. So they use, because the owners are Japanese, they really tried to use a lot of uh, interesting flavor combinations uh, that they knew of in Japan, and they brought it here to Vietnam. And we are going to um, pair this with another one of their in-house beers here. This is their Session IPA made with pizza flour. So everything at Pizza 4 Peas is, it's really well thought out. It's, you know, it, it's really an ecosystem. Nothing is wasted, or at least they try not to waste anything. And they try to um, reuse a lot of the flavors when and where they can. Boy, do I love my job. Uh, but remember, I think for a lot of you guys who watch this, understand that I've been a chef for 20 years. So one of the reasons why you know I'm able to, to do what I do, but also to be on Sunny Show is because I have the experience. I, I, I understand food through a different lens, through a lens of a chef, of a lens of somebody who looks at ingredients and techniques a little differently. So if you want to be, I don't consider myself a food blogger. I don't consider myself a food reviewer. Um, I'm just a host. I'm a host of my show. But if you want to be a host of your show, learn the foundation, learn the mechanics of what you're filming and then be an expert in your field and in time, well, you can build a show like mine that has no viewership. It doesn't matter because I will still do this show whether I have 1 million views or just 10. And out of the 10, nine of them are for me. <laughs> All right, let's go into the Parma pizza with burrata first, only because this burrata is going to melt. Listen, there is no sexy way of doing this. There is no um, right or wrong way with a knife and a fork. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, that burrata is so good. God, I haven't had the pizza yet, except the burrata. Ah. I have yet to been to Italy, but I've eaten some of the best pizzas in New York, in LA, in San Francisco. For me, it's about knowing that all these ingredients 
came from Vietnam, or at least most of them did. There are some few. There are a few imported ingredients, but they try to use as many local and sustainable products as possible. And that's what makes not only Pizza Four Pizza amazing, but Saigon, Vietnam, such an amazing place to be at. Oh, the owners just stopped by to say goodbye to me on the way out. Even with all their businesses and all of their um, ventures, they still get a chance to swing by to say hi to me. Absolutely lovely, lovely people. The next half of the pizza is their salmon miso cream. This is a dish that I really like because the miso has a really deep umami taste. Um, they put sliced white onions on the bottom, uh, top it with salmon and then cheese. The onion is a surprise because you don't really see it coming, uh, but when you eat into it, it really plays well with that miso and salmon. <laughs> 11 years later, this is still one of my favorite pizzas to eat in the world. Mm. Mm. Last and final dish, I could not go through a meal without having dessert. This is their four cheese dessert plate. Now, what's interesting is this is a mascarpone mousse. This is a mascarpone ice cream. This, I hear, blue cheese, and it tops it off with mozzarella. Oh, so they shave mozzarella on top uh, as the topping. Blue cheese ice cream. Here we effing go. Give me these little spoons for eating, but I can't eat this with a spoon. I need a big spoon. I need a soup spoon to eat this. Let's off with the mascarpone mousse. Oh, it is. It is nice. When you dig into the mascarpone mousse, nothing holds back. It's just this airiness. Mm. Just the right amount of savoriness. A hint of sweetness. There is a citrus-based sauce. I'm guessing it's orange. There's an orange-based sauce that surrounds all this, and that really helps cut that richness of the cheese plate. Mm. All right, mascarpone mousse, definitely a winner. Let's go to the mascarpone ice cream. I am a huge fan of ice cream. I can eat ice cream for breakfast. I just tell you guys that? I can't. I, I love ice cream. Oh my god. That is so rich. That is so high in milk fat. Again, everything here is so sustainable. Everything they use in other products are reused in other dishes. That's why I love four piece. That's why I love four piece. Mmm. Okay. Finally, blue cheese ice cream. Now, for those of you who have blue cheese, you understand that blue cheese smells like wet socks. To me, to me, it's delightful. I love that pungent smell. But to others, you may not be, be ready for it. I've never had blue cheese ice cream before. So here we go. I don't smell any, any funk, any, any mold, any of that blue cheese essence. Very light. I had imagined that this blue cheese ice cream was going to be really heavy on the palate, heavy on the nose, but actually there's a little bit of that um, there's a little bit of that there's a little bit of that funk but not overbearing and I think that they did a really nice 
play on using blue cheese in their ice cream. I gotta say, really good. What a truly amazing experience. Not only was the food amazing, the service was great, the beers were amazing. It's the story about Pizza Four Peas. It's about the journey of a husband and a wife trying to make try and make pizza, but not only pizza, make food more sustainable and give it a reason to exist. Um, this to me is what a restaurant should be all about. Caring about its workers, caring about its message, caring about its food and how they make the food. Pizza Four Peas, out of all the pizza restaurants I've had in the world, probably still sits at Number one, and again, it's not about the taste so much. It's about how they're doing it and how they're making it sustainable and how they're making it um, their own, part of their own story and their own journey. If you're ever in Saigon, Pizza Four Peas has a lot of locations. I'm going to leave the location that I ate at right here in District 2 here in Taoden. Um, but if you go into the website, you can definitely find more information about them. Everything we had today had a story. Everything we had today had a reason. It had balance. It had flavors. It had, it had textures. It had freshness. It had so much going on. I, I feel so fortunate to be able to film here today. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below. Comment if you've ever had Pizza Four Piece, maybe in Vietnam, maybe in Cambodia. Uh, let us know what you think about it. And if you haven't had it yet, let us know what you thought about the meal that we had today. With that being said, my name is Calvin Bowie, AKA Captain Charisma. I will see you guys later.